All right, friends. I'm going to start by having each of you just say your name, introduce yourself, and where you work. I'm Keanu Soule, Senior Program Officer for Equal Access International. Hey, welcome. I'm Samantha Cook. I'm a Senior Program Assistant at Equal Access as well. And also Equal Access? So Equal Access, and I'm Mia Kuda. <laughs> So, um, is this your first annual dinner for Sid US, or have you been doing this for many years? Samantha? I, this is my second. This is your second, so you're a pro. This is my first. First? Same here, yeah. Okay, okay. What's the secret to making a successful dinner? What What is the magic that makes this night really magical? Well, there's so many really cool people here, and also the food's really great, which is a good motivation to- Double whammy. Yeah, you can't lose with that. Um, but I mean, like, you get to walk around and talk to everyone, people that you used to work with, people that you can just connect with, and yeah. Okay, so which one of you three wants to do the equal access, here's what we do, soundbite? And you can point, and you can phone a friend here. Who, there, there is a, there, you could, you could bring the other friend on, that's great, that's great TV. You gotta come back on and tell us what equal access does. Yeah, uh, who wants to take a shot? I'll do it. Um, yeah, so we do social behavioral change. We work in a few countries in West Africa and Asia. Um, and we have multiple donors, such as IOM, State Department, USG, USAID. So, yeah, that's like the 30-second spiel on what Equal Access does broadly. Okay, so you're sitting around at Equal Access or you're on your computers. What is giving you all optimism and hope for the turn to 2025 at Equal Access? What is the thing? Let's start over here. Yeah, I think something that's been really interesting for me is uh, we do a lot of work uh, in Cote d'Ivoire. All of us work on a project together based in Cote d'Ivoire. And something that's really- You were just there or you're going to- We, we work on a project there. Um, and- Hope you get to go. Yeah, they've, they've been. I haven't made it quite yet. But... Hopefully soon. Yeah, um, but I think just, you know, speaking with our team and, you know, the different work that's happening in the communities, whether it be with women working on their market gardens um, or bringing different ethnic groups that historically have had conflict together, it's it's just really inspiring. It's really powerful. Anything to add to that? I was going to say the same thing, just working with our staff in, in the field. What she said. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think we do a lot of really interesting research. Uh, we're going to be releasing the next iteration of our resilience index next year, and I think that'll be really exciting since we're going to be going to a more granular level. So, My last question is, say there's somebody watching who wants to work in global development. What's the secret to getting a job at Equal Access? Any tips? Speak multiple languages. Multiple languages? Good, good superpower. Anything else? I think also just having a lot of passion and, like, that goes a long way in showing that you want to make an impact on the project. Well, thank you so much for stopping by and saying hi to us. Wish you a wonderful dinner.